Grand Teton National Park, just outside Jackson, Wyoming, is part of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, one of the largest intact wildlife habitats in the country. The two national parks are just over an hour's drive apart. I think a lot of people are coming to Grand Teton as kind of a stop through on their way to Yellowstone, but they start to discover that there's a ton to explore here and often come back. Park ranger Maddie Duff says summertime can be busy at the Teton Park. One reason, she likes the fall, but not the only reason. Fall is incredible because we do have so many different colors coming from our aspens and our cottonwoods. It's really incredible to see some white on the peaks and then see that color in the landscape. They call it snow leage, and pretty as it is, the cooler weather may call for a hat. Um, and when people put on their hats, we want them to go right above the brow and then drop the back down. If you're going to get a hat in Jackson, might as well get one made in Jackson. Howdy, ma'am. <laughs> and that brings us to the all women staff at JW Bennett and hat fitter Kelly Fry. What sets us apart is that we actually make our hats by hand, and it's all done locally here, upstairs in our production studio. Upstairs, Hillary Gordon, master hat maker. They're made with the best of the best materials, so they're super durable. They should last 50, 100 years, kind of a heritage lifetime piece. A J.W. Bennett hat will endure all manner of torment on its way to a human head. We use the flame to burn some of the long hairs on the outside of the hat and really get a fine finish. Gordon's expertise in this traditional cowboy craft surprises even her. She's originally from Camden, Maine. You know, came out to ski. We like our mountains in Maine, but they're not quite as big as the mountains out here. And uh, just couldn't, couldn't leave. It's a story told time and again around Jackson Hole, the visitor who can't bring themselves to leave. That includes millionaires and billionaires, making the cost of living in this stunning valley a challenge. It's a hard place to live sometimes with the affordability of it, but we all have each other's backs. And so beyond the beautiful outdoors and the mountains and the playground we have at our doorstep every day, it's the community that keeps me here. Still, the mountain range looms over everything in this valley, says Paige Foley. Seeing the Grand Tetons, if that doesn't take your breath away, I don't know what will. It is truly one of the most magically beautiful places on the planet. And we're surrounded by lands that are untouched. It is truly magically beautiful here. People are kind. The air is clear, the water is wonderful. And in the middle of it all, of course, a warm Wyoming welcome at the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. When that sign is on, y'all come on in and join us. We're happy to have you. Just wonderful, I want one of those hats, but I need to know why is real estate so expensive in Jackson Hole? 97% of Teton County is national park and mm. forest land, so there's not a lot of land available. There are a lot of millionaires and billionaires in there. Mm. That drives the price up. A lot of the locals actually live about 25 minutes away in Idaho, mm. just across the border. Beautiful, beautiful spot though. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.